Cuba Buying today. It is the holiday season, but we want to make sure that we give you all the advice you need to make a really good decision. In fact, the biggest decision of uh, your life, purchasing a home, okay? So we have Mia McLeod here from McLeod & Associates. This real estate buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod & Associates, a full service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell, it's about the difference we make in people's lives. Mia, thank you so much for coming back to Kababayan today. It's busy, it's the holidays, nag shopping ka na ba? Not yet, but it is my favorite time of the year. Family, right. quality time with them, so I'm so looking forward to the next few days here, right? Right, okay, well, let's talk about, sh speaking of shopping, yeah, I if, know. if people are interested in shopping for the biggest ever um, purchase? purchase of their yeah. life, a home, can you give us um, advice on what mistakes to avoid? All right, let's jump right into that. Number one, I say, you know, buying too much house. What does that mean? Masyadong malaking bahay? Yeah, you know what? Believe it or not, a lot of the younger families, the first-time home buyers, I'm noticing sometimes they think they just need so much space. So I recommend really sitting down and, and figuring out if you really need that extra loft. Do you need that extra garage? How big of a backyard are you really going to mm. utilize? When they get in, a lot of times they realize, oh man, I didn't need all that all that space. Okay. So not the biggest house, sometimes you don't need that. Which right. jumps into mistake number two sometimes is they buy the biggest house on the block. Eh, syempre, alam mo naman mga Pilipino, <laughs> di ba? Aba, bahay ko yan. <laughs> yes, but you want to sit down and, and, and talk about that too because equity appreciation, a lot of times, believe it or not, the smaller house on the block ends up getting more equity over time. Ah, interesting. It's really interesting. Yes, okay. it is. And then the next mistake is? Not getting pre-approved before you start the process. I talk about this all the time on the show and I'm going to keep talking about it because it's the financial part of the transaction and I want to make sure our Kababaya understand it but they have to get pre-approved before you start that way you don't you know feel frustrated when you get out into a property and you like a, a house and you can't make an offer or if you make an offer your offer doesn't get accepted because the seller is not going to entertain your offer without that okay pre-approval so All I right. really recommend that um, another tip I have is not putting everything in writing sometimes like People will go through a house and there's this refrigerator that fits perfectly in that space uh -huh. and you automatically assume it's part of the sale, but it's Tapos not. Hindi pala. Yeah. So okay, just, so you have to write everything yeah, down. Yeah, put everything in writing. Again, leaning on your realtor to do all this is key. Okay, yes. so I want to find out, as we know, the economic, um, uh, a lot of people lost their homes, yes. right? Yes. Uh, foreclosures happened. Short now, sales, bankruptcy. Exactly. So a common question is, mm -hmm. how soon can I buy again? Yes, if and that happens to that you. If that happened. And the guidelines say they need a minimum of two years. Okay. But I mean, if you had a foreclosure, short sale, bankruptcy in 2013, you may be eligible to buy again. So just call us. We do free consultations. See if now you're eligible to get into the market again. Mm -hmm. The lenders are not as strict on credit. You can go as low as a six. 20 FICO score. So I recommend taking a look into that if it's been over two years. Okay, well, the uh, you mentioned this credit, credit score, right? Yes. Let's be honest. Marami tayong utang dito sa, sa America. You know, mm -hmm. we buy a lot of things on our credit card. Yes. How do we maintain a healthy credit score? Because a lot rests on this when we're trying to buy a house. Yes, and it's so important, and I'm glad you bring this up, but my tips are, one, check your credit regularly. I, that means to me, I would say every 90 days, every three months. There's really? A, yeah, there's a lot of fraud going on. There's a lot of identity theft. People are opening accounts in your name. Mm -hmm. um, you may have paid a card, you was on time, but the creditors are reporting it late. Yes. You may not even know. So. And then also make sure to reduce that credit card debt, right? Don't o don't open and close accounts so quickly. Uh, so quickly. Yes. And please use your cards from time to time. time. Yes. Okay. Don't use the max credit limit every month. That can get your score to go down. So okay. I recommend half of the credit limit or or less. Okay. Every All month. right. So we have this beautiful property in Monterey Park. Yes. Just listed. Welcome to two two. Northmore Avenue in the beautiful city of Monterey Park. Just walking distance to some of the best Asian eateries in town. This property boasts of three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and over 1,500 square feet.
more property details, call us at 909-612-9488 or you can follow us on Facebook at Mia McLeod and the McLeod team. Back on the show, uh, Mia, that was such a beautiful property. Uh, and of course, I'm going to ask again, <laughs> kaya ba ng bulsa yan? Totally. It's listed for 448 and it's near. Uh, it's walking distance to some of my favorite Asian eateries in Monterey Park. Oh yeah, I heard there's so much good food oh my, in there. The dim sum much. there, oh my goodness, I'm <laughs> telling you. Walking distance, great location, 448,000. Wonderful, thank you Mia for being here on Kababayan today. We really appreciate it. And please join us before Christmas again, okay? Absolutely, All thank right. you. Maraming salamat, there you go. Please make sure to call Mia McLeod at McLeod and Associates, free po ang consultation yan. Maraming salamat po at magkita-kita po tayo bukas here on Kababayan Today.